Welcome to Drawing with Lord Carnage, where today I'll be working on Magnum Skywolf. And you can see the drawings done in this video over at patreon.com slash Magnum Skywolf and follow the series weekly. So let's check it out. Enjoy. All right, here's a look at Magnum Skywolf page one, which you can read up on the uh, Patreon feed right now. And I've already talked about this one on the page, but uh, the helicopter's flying in, the weather's bad, Hunter Skywolf is smoking in the cockpit, and um, we're about to create a whole lot of explosions as he is attacking some kind of a mysterious transaction that's going on in Vietnam in 1975 before he sucked into the polar vortex and crash lands in Antarctica, which is uh, quite a ways away from Vietnam, but that's the story. Can't deviate from the story. And uh, this is gonna be like one of those 80s action movies. So I'm gonna have a close up of uh, some, some missiles or something, possibly nuclear weapons, and some, uh, some of the bad guys talking and sunglasses. And then one of the, one of the bad guys is gonna look up because he hears the, uh, the helicopter coming in from the distance, the, um, the Cobra. This is in Vietnam. So he's not flying the Magnum 9000 yet. That, that doesn't um, take place until uh, 40 years later. So he's gonna look up and then it's just gonna be a shower of bullets and missiles and they're just gonna get blown to bits. And I think I'm going to end the page. I, my original sketch pad drawing has, uh, has some dialogue. But I think I'm gonna actually end the page with him lighting a cigarette off of a cigarette inside the helicopter cockpit because I think that image itself gets the point across and uh, pretty much sets his personality that uh, Hunter Skywolf is a man who disobeys rules and refuses to give up smoking, even in the future. He also refuses to use cell phones, uh, which is still waiting a bit of um, photo work for me. I'm gonna stage the martini glass and I wanna draw her fingers wrapped around the other side of the gun here. And I'm gonna use a, a model shot for that. And then I wanna spend a little bit more time detailing the plaid print on his coat and then uh, when they're done, I'm going to draw the background. So like most of the time I'm drawing a page, I, I have the rough idea in my head. And I've got um, on one layer here the, uh, the frame, and I'm just going to copy and paste that down here. And uh, probably do the vertical lines on another layer and make them rough because I'm just going to, I'm just going to scribble stuff out until I get the page to where I want it to be. So. I think I'm gonna do three panels on the top. Probably the top one's gonna have missiles or something. Next page is gonna have money being trans um, a money transaction, something like that. Maybe I'll put the uh, maybe I'll do maybe I'll have a medium shot of yeah. I'll move the money over there since we have one panel going in like that and then one going in like that. Looks nice, and I'll have uh, two of the bad guys here doing something over like the over the briefcase with all the stuff in it. All right, and then I'm gonna do a wide shot where we're gonna see all the stuff that's about to get blown up. So there'll be like a truck here, do one of those generic trucks, and we'll have the guys doing the deal over here. See, I'm just doing stick figures at the moment. And then on this side, there'll be a couple of the guards, and this guy is just going to look up. So your eye is going to go from left to right. And as you get to the end of the panel, he's going to look up. But then over here, we're going to see more of a close-up shot of that guy looking up. Uh, now I've selected the background. What I'm going to do is um, add another layer in there. New layer. And... I'm going to make the entire layer in the background white. So, there I have a whole white layer now. I'm going to combine that with the foreground layer, merge layers. And what this is going to allow me to do is basically add another layer back there now, which can be anything. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start in the background, which is going to be simple. But, uh, oops, uh-oh, I chopped her in half. 
I missed something. Better go in there and fix that. <laughs> so I've been messing around with this a bit here, but the helicopter comes flying in from the side, unloads all of his missile pods on the on the, the bad guys, blows them up. I'm gonna do a um, like a medium shot here where we actually see the briefcase and the missiles flying out of it because we're gonna have a uh, like a mushroom cloud on the next page, and there'll be bodies like flying in the background and stuff, and it, and the final frame will be. Hunter Skywolf, this uh, helicopter helmet, basically lighting a cigarette off of a cigarette inside the cockpit of the helicopter. Giant mushroom cloud in the background. He has eliminated the bad guys and apparently created quite an international incident in the process. But he's not going to be around uh, Vietnam long enough to see this because flipping my sketchpad notes over here he's going to be um, sucked into a polar vortex I'm gonna flip a couple of my panels around from my original drawing There's a lot of action going on in each each page I'm gonna do uh, let's see the helicopters leaning that way so I'm gonna do a kind of like a front view of the helicopter with him with him talking because the weather's getting really bad as you saw from the first page with all of the um, the weather effects, which I'll do more detail on when I finish that. So he's talking with his um, command about the weather, and I think I'm going to have a reverse shot of the helicopter going this way. So I'm going to draw Hunter Skywolf upside down there, which is why I have an unhappy face upside down. I'll do the detail work a bit later. I've got a giant weather system here, a bit of a fisheye lens shot showing the mountain range in the distance. And a little itty bitty uh, helicopter going up into it with a word balloon saying something funny. I like to end each page or each series of panels with some kind of a joke. And while I'm on the roll here, while I'm on a roll, I'm gonna go over to page four. And I, uh, I'm actually going to combine pages, um, my original pages three and four, into one page four, and then end it with a bit of a cliffhanger so that page five picks up in 2016 instead of 1975. All right, I fixed her shirt, and um, I'm going to put a, a little bit of a background in here, but you can see now that I've like, blocked it out, so it's its own layer. Whoa, they're in a dance club. Um, I'm gonna put some palm trees or something in there. So I'm gonna make another layer, which is gonna be like a background layer, and then start working on some stereotypical palm trees and stuff. Like that, you know. Sketch layer. That one on the left looks kind of crappy, doesn't it? <laughs> palm trees. Palm trees. I'll take the foreground out and work on the palm trees. And a closer shot of the tail sticking out of the snow. Or some snowflakes or something. Maybe a penguin or two. Are penguins Antarctica or is that North Pole? That's Antarctica, right? Yeah. Santa Claus lives in the North Pole. Uh, so there'll probably be at least two or three sketch layers on this one since there's going to be a lot going on. And I'm going to just do a bit of research on some of the vehicles and stuff first, but at least I can get some of the basics out of the way here. Like the, um, I'm putting our layer in there. Sketch two. Like the weapons. Uh, in, in 80s movies, weapons were always delivered in giant crates, right? So I think we need to have like a crate. Maybe they took the lid off of this one. Maybe he's opening the lid. I think if the lid is off of it, that'll give me some room to show that there's more crates in the background. Let's put the lid. It's like the lid is propped up there. And in the crate are these things that look like missiles. We'll fit three of them in there. 
And then in the background, we'll see more crates, okay? There's a whole lot of these things. There we go. So we gotta just get the angle right. So we got a bunch of crates, all right? All right, and what we're gonna do here is have this guy who's like the general, and I gotta do a little research on these 80s general hats. I know that there's a stereotypical look I'm gonna go for. And he's going to be holding one of these missiles. Okay? Something like that. So he'll be holding one, looking at it, and he's gonna have glasses. Look like an evil dictator. So he's flipping through the cash. So we know that a deal has gone down. And I'll probably do a photo of this and draw the photo to get it right. To get it right fast. So there's guys loading these boxes onto the truck. There'd be another bad guy over here with his machine gun. 80s bad guys also had mustaches, but they were like bad guy mustaches. And they had cigars, of course. <laughs> so we'll give them this guy the sunglasses and then uh, like a double chin there. Military fatigues. Gotta have military fatigues on. And this guy is more of a drug dealer, so he's gonna have uh, sketchier clothes, more civilian clothes, and be counting his money. Have long hair. Maybe he's got a joint hanging out of his mouth. Here, as, as you see, each page is a collection of um, little drawings. A lot of little things, a lot of things are going to go into each page. And this is a tough page to draw. These first couple pages are tough to draw because I'm creating a lot of characters that aren't key characters. They're just generic characters. That we're probably never going to see again. And that requires some, some research and some detail work. I hope you've enjoyed Drawing with Lord Carnage, taking a look at how Magnum Skywolf is created. And this will be a weekly series where there'll eventually be a completed book at the end. So check it out once again at patreon.com slash magnumskywolf. And there'll be a lot more great stuff coming soon. So thank you. See you later.